Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to our module 19 lesson one, practice and homework. This is describing a coordinate system. So let me get going here and share with you so we can see what's going on with this. All right, so let's get my mouse working here. There we go. All right, so you can see our P179 and 180. So we have this map showing the locations of the different activities at the camp. What are two ways to name the location of the Arts and Crafts Center? So when you look, you see the Arts and Crafts Center is right here. So we could call it the ordered pair that we talked about in class. It's at zero, zero, and that pen is no good. So zero, zero, we could call it that, or we could call it the origin. So remember that means where we're starting, where it originated, where it began, okay? So a couple of ways that we can talk about this point on our map. Now using the map, describe how a camper would go from the Arts and Crafts Center to the dining hall. So look where the dining hall is couple of ways that we can talk about it. We do have our compass rows here um, to help us. So we can say um, from arts and crafts, we could say go east or right for units. So east or right for units. That gets us here. And then we have to go which way? North or up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units, then north or up seven units. And that would get us to the dining hall. What ordered pair represents the location of the horse corral? So we find the horse corral. Remember we go over then up in order to state that coordinate pair over then up, walk to the mountain, climb the mountain over and up. So we're going to go over to eight, up to six. So we write our ordered pair in those parentheses with a comma between. All right. Describe how to move from the origin of a coordinate grid to locate the point. So if we're locating point A and it's at two, eight, we're going to go right two units, and then we're going to go up eight units. We always go over then up, right? If we're going for, if it's coordinate, it's coordinate B at four zero, we're just gonna go right four units. We would not go up at all. That zero says stay right there. So over to the right four units and stay right there. If point C is at nine five, we're going to go right nine units, and then up five units. All right, so just a little bit of practice remembering over and up, right and up. Nathan says that Madison Square Garden is located at the coordinate point zero three on the map. Is his ordered pair correct? So if we think zero, we don't move. It would be going right, but we stay there. And we go up to three be right there. Is he correct? And our answer would be no. He is not correct. What do you think he did? He said zero three. Look where Madison Square Garden is. It's at three zero. So he reversed or he changed the order of his coordinates. So that can happen. Remember, we're going over then up. So you see how that gets us to the wrong spot. If we did over zero, up three, or we do over three, up zero. Totally changes where we are on our map. All right. So for the test prep, a point is located six units right and four units up from the origin. What is the correct? X, well, I'm sorry, what is the x-coordinate of the point? 
So we always talk about X axis and Y axis. So if it's at six, four, if I show that, this is X, this is Y, we're at six on the X coordinate. Using this map, which gives directions for how to move from the origin to the cafe. Here's the cafe, origin to the cafe. I'm going to go over to the right five units, up three units. Right five units, up three units. It's going to be letter B. If I do right three units and up five units, I'm at the school. Right four units and up two units, there's nothing there. Right one unit and up three units, there's nothing there. What are the coordinates of the bank? Here's the bank. You see that we stayed on the x-axis, so that means we are at zero. I'm sorry. We stayed on the x-axis, but we moved over four units. So that's four. We did not move up at all. There's my zero. If I would have done zero, four, I would have been here. And if I check to see if that's a reasonable answer, I would have found, no, there's nothing there. Over four units, up zero. What is located at the coordinate seven, two on the map? Seven, two is the park. Describe how to move from the origin to the store. Uh, here's the store. So origin, I'm going to go right six units. And I'm going to go up eight units. So right six units and up eight units. All right, that's it for this lesson for um, today. Some spiral review. If I'm using benchmarks to estimate, one-fifth is about zero. Three-eighths is about, you remember benchmarks, three-eighths is about one-half. So we would get an estimate or about one-half. A machine in a candy factory can make 62 candies in one hour. About how long would it take to make 2,480 candies? If you remember this from dividing, because we're dividing these candies, we would take our divisor, 60, and then I'm going to look here, and I'm going to say, I'm going to divide 2,400 by 60, because then we can cancel those zeros. Six goes into 24 about, not about, exactly four times, and I add a zero. So then if I'm getting an estimate, the candy machine takes about uh, 40 minutes. Oh, one hour, 62 candies in one hour. So about 40 hours, not minutes. So remembering again, dividing, when we estimate our device, dividing, estimate our quotient, take your divisor and round it. Then look at the front of your dividend and see what's close and you get about how much. All right, so that's it for today. I appreciate you joining in. If you have any questions, bring them back to class. Otherwise, I will see you next time.